All right, so Valentine's Day has us thinking about chemistry between two people, mm -hmm. but what about between an acid and a base? Yeah, of course, that's the question <laughs> I'm going to ask this morning. <laughs> we are going to test it out. We're going to test out both vinegar and baking soda in the best way that I know possible. Okay. Okay, so here's what you're going to need for your experiment at home. You'll need vinegar and baking soda. Those are the two musts that you have. Then to spice it up a little bit, you can use red food coloring, but I found that with kids, it's a little bit more friendly to use Hawaiian punch packages or Kool-Aid. It doesn't get all over their fingers and stain the clothes. like. Nice. can tend to happen. Right. Also, then you can just have some glitter. So pink, red, whatever you want to make it as festive as possible. Okay. Pretty simple. Yeah, it sounds that way. It? Okay. I'm also not going to tell anybody how much you need of everything because part of being a scientist is figuring out proportions yourself. Oh. So you have to so do a little a big guess test. and check. Okay. Yes. But I've already put baking soda in here, so we're good with that. The next step is to add your food coloring, or in this case, it's going to be our Hawaiian punch packet. Then I'm going to sprinkle in some red hearts. And I'm going to add as much glitter as I possibly can to the mixture here. I appreciate the fact that you have like a little funnel because I've already yes. spilled it everywhere. <laughs> That's okay. I figured that one's harder. I gave you the harder jar to work with there. So sorry That's about okay. that. That's okay. Okay, so now we're going to see the chemical reaction happen. So Val's going to grab her little glass of vinegar. I'm going to grab the full tub here. Okay. And what's going to happen when these an acid and a base comes together? Ready? Three, two, two one. Woo! Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Woo! And I love how the little, some of my hearts came right out the top. Yes, that's what we like to see. So this is called a Valentine's Day volcano. And it's pretty simple. Ooh. Fun. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh, we're Ooh. going. <laughs> we're rolling with it. I was like, hey, let's try both and see what happens. <laughs> so what happened here? This was an acid-base reaction. We learned about that in school, right? You see your baking soda, your sodium bicarbonate is your baking soda, or your acidic acid, which is your vinegar. The two come together and they formed carbon dioxide, which is the fizzy pop, the fizzy bubbles that you get in your pop, right? And cause there to be that wonderful little this chemical This is a really reaction. fun little festive wake since it's so cold outside yes. for people to do this with their kiddos or I mean I would even do it again at home because it was so much fun <laughs> and yes. I, you know what else it is it's a great way to clean your rings makes your diamonds sparkle if you okay. do it with just the vinegar and the baking soda without the you know the Kool-Aid and the, and the Yeah <laughs> and the leave glitter. the red food coloring <laughs> out of it maybe that might take it a little too far Yep. Um, but yes a fun way I've also seen that kids are giving these out little baking soda packages with glitter as their Valentine's gift to friends. Oh, that's a so great idea. I have a link to that attached to our website article if you want to be able to download the Valentine that goes along with it. Perfect. Hey, supporting small businesses is more important now than ever. And with love flying through the air this Valentine's Day, chances are there'll be new engagements popping up.